One of the most important complex functions is, is the exponential function. Many other functions will be defined in terms of the exponential function, but how can we define e to the power z, where z is some complex number? Well, that is what you will learn in this video, and even better, we'll start with some computations straight away. So, what are we going to do? Uh, f from c to c, f equals e to the power z, uh, well, plug in z equals x plus i y, and we have e to the power x plus i y, and we define this as e to the power x times e to the power i y, and we know e to the power i y already from the Euler formula, it's cosine y plus i times sine y. So we uh, define it like this because we want to keep the rules like we had for real numbers as much as possible, where we had e to the power a plus b equals e to the power a times e to the power b. We want to keep that rule over here as well when using complex variables. So that's why we define the exponential function like this. Okay, let's start to do some computations with that. Uh, if we want, for example, to compute the f of 2 plus 3i, so we want to compute e to the power 2 plus 3i, so how do we do that? Well, that's e to the power 2 times e to the power 3i, and for the e to the power 3i, you, you use the Euler formula. And we immediately observe, so whatever uh, number you are going to plug in into your exponential, you will get one answer out. So that means that the function f of z is 2, 1. You had one outcome. It may not surprise you, it may, sim it may, it may seem trivial, because in real, uh, uh, if you have real functions, all, all functions are 2, 1. But we will encounter a later different types of functions. So, function f of z is 2, 1. It's for a complex function, kind of sp special already. And then the range of f, where well, where can we get? Well, the uh, f of z equals e to the power x times cosine y plus i times sine y. Uh, so you can get any argument if you vary y. You only need to vary y between 0 and 2 pi, by the way. But you can get any argument like that, because y is allowed to vary between uh, in uh, between minus infinity and infinity, so y can take any value. So the argument of f, f of z can take any value. The norm of f of z equals e to the power x. Uh, that can take almost any value. x is vary, allowed to vary between minus infinity and infinity, so you can get any norm you like, except for one norm you cannot get to zero, because e to the power x is never equal to zero. We can get any positive number except zero. So that means that we our outcomes will be any complex number because you can get any norm, any argument except for zero. So the range of f uh, is the set of all numbers in C except for zero. Uh, now, some other examples, some more calculations. Uh, we, we know how to compute images, that's easy. Let's try to compute an inverse image. So find a z such as f of z equals 1 plus i, so the inverse image of 1 plus i. So how can we do that? Well, we can write 1 plus i in polar form. That's what we do over here. Norm of 1 plus i is square root of 2, and its argument is pi over 4. So 45 degrees, so polar form equals square root of 2 times e to the power i pi over 4. Uh, well, notice that you can always add factors of 2 pi i to the argument, and you uh, again add the same argument, so that's what we do over here. We add the arbitrary number of 2 pi i, and then we write our uh, square root of 2 as an exponential as e to the power ln square root of 2, and we keep the rest the same. So we can rewrite our right-hand side as one exponential, so we have e to the power z equals e to the power some rubbish, and that means that z has to be equal to the rubbish. So what we see is that uh, many different values of z are all mapped to the same 1 plus i, because you have this k times 2 pi i, you can take k arbitrarily, so you have many different values of z mapped to the same 1 plus i. And uh, that is what we see in our property uh, number one, the function f of z is many to one. Many functions are mapped to the same uh, point. And furthermore, uh, the second property, 
the a function f of z is uh, on to, if we uh, restrict our domain, to c with ex the exception of zero. So now you know, you find the exponential and you know how to do computations with it. And we already saw two important properties as well.